what's going on guys so today is saturday april 1st and that means today is the first day of wrestlemania goes to hollywood and if you guys didn't know i'm a huge wrestling fan so i just want to make a quick vlog telling you guys my prediction on who's gonna win tomorrow's main event at wrestlemania night number two between Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns. So guys, here we go. Because I'm the Cowboy King of Entertainment. And this video is gonna be epic. Cause I'm a cowboy! Oh man. So guys, Roman Reigns has been champion for over 900 plus days. And I believe WWE is going to take that in consideration and it will have something to do with the outcome of the match. See, I feel that WWE wants to break some of the older records. And personally, I think they have a chance to do it and I think they should go for it. There are four people, only four people that's above Roman's reign's longest winning streak holding a title currently right now and number four which i think roman's gonna win so he could pass it because he's so close is none other than pedro morales he has the title for 1027 days that was back in february 1971 to december 1973 if they want to get crazy and let him go past that. There's also Hulk Hogan had it for 1,474 days. That was January 1984 to February 1988. If they want to get even crazier, Bob Backlund was champion for 2,135 days from February 1978 to December 1983. And if they want to go all the way crazy, then they could do... Bruno San Martino run was 2,803 days from May 1963 to January 1971 and 1,237 days from December 1973 to April 1977. So he had a crazy streak two different times and yeah, but I personally think he's so close, Roman that is, to beating that 1,027 days from Pedro Morales? Why not? And on the other side, I'm going to be honest with you. I used to be a big Cody Rhodes fan when he was dashing Cody Rhodes. And he used to fix his eyebrow. Crowd gave him. His story is the reason I would like him to win. But unfortunately, I don't feel that he did anything that he should win. Like, for instance, he beat Seth freaking Rollins, which is my current favorite wrestler. He beat him three times. But honestly, that's like Cody's only claim to fame coming back to WWE. Now, he did also just recently beat Solo Sokoa and made Solo Sokoa undefeated reign in. Let's be real. Solo had like three matches. I mean, Solo didn't do anything special. So that's really not a great accomplishment. So honestly, I just don't think Cody deserves it. I mean, if you took away his story of him leaving, his dad never getting the championship, him building another company, which is AEW, and then deciding the biggest thing in his wrestling career is to once and finally have the WWE championship, that story is great. Yeah. But honestly, if we look at this as wrestler versus wrestler, what has he done to make us feel he could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the tribal chief, the head of the table, Roman Reigns, and actually beat him? I mean, Roman has some of the best wins under his belt, like from some of the top superstars. I mean, he did cheat to beat most of them. Just saying. But Roman has beat the who's who in the current WWE, so honestly, it feels weird to just see Cody Rhodes come back and beat Roman because before Cody left, let's be honest, he was kind of a nobody. He didn't do nothing special. The most special thing he did was win the IC championship and actually turn the belt back to the white belt, and that was kind of cool. Now hand me the velvet bag.
What I hold in my hand is the classic Intercontinental Championship title. So honestly, guys, I personally think Sunday, April 2nd, at WrestleMania night number two, Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Uh, Roman's going to keep it. And I think they're going to let Roman's probably lose at SummerSlam. Now, here's the only issue. I feel bad for Cody because I think it's going to be one of those things if he don't win, he's going to sizzle down. He's not going to be as hot. Um, and then he's probably not going to get the belt or at least not be the one to beat Roman. But really, I don't know who else probably should beat Roman. I mean, maybe Bobby Lashley because he's never got a chance to go against the belt for Roman. And he actually looked like he could beat Roman. He probably can beat Roman. And then the other two guys I could think of that probably should be able to beat Roman and they could make a good storyline would be Seth freaking Rollins because Roman has never got a win over him. And also, you guys probably don't want to hear it, but I think Brock Lesnar, he probably would be another good choice to make beat Roman Reigns. So anyway, guys, those are my predictions for tomorrow, Sunday, April 2nd, night number two for WrestleMania, Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns. I personally think Cody won't get it, and um, but we could do this. I say Cody doesn't deserve it, so we can have Cody on that redemption arc, right? He gets to go against Roman. He doesn't beat Roman. Maybe somebody cheat and make him not win. Hell, make uh, Goldust come out. His brother cheat him and make him not win. Then we could take some months building up for Cody to make a comeback at SummerSlam and then beat Roman on a one-on-one -on -one and get both of the belts. Then you'll have Cody actually deserve it. Then you'll have Roman actually beat Pedro Morales's you know, winning streak, because I think that's special. But guys, you let me know what you think. Please give me your storylines. What I'll do is when I do my uh, podcast, I'll actually read what you guys said. We'll recap and see if I was right or wrong. We'll recap and see if you guys was right or wrong. But with that being said, subscribe to the most epic channel on YouTube for live streams every week, daily videos. Subscribe. I'm the Cowboy King of Entertainment, and now your mama knows. Break it down. I'll make you famous. Because I'm a cowboy! Oh, man! And now, your mama knows!